Welcome back to the PowerPoint series of video tutorials from Activia Training. Now, in our next tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we add uh, motion paths to our animations. So I'm going to start by opening up PowerPoints. OK, and I'm going to open up an example presentation there using animation motion paths. OK, so I've only got two slides in this presentation. They're just there for demonstration purposes. So we will come back to our little uh, purple circle in a second. Nothing much going on in there. Uh, on my first slide, though, I've got a couple of photographs. There's Jenny and Sarah, and I can tell that by their labels above. Now, this is already animated. Let's have a quick look at the animation. So on a click, the two photographs fly in from the top and the two labels fly in from the bottom simultaneously and meet in the middle there. Now it's not entirely what I'm after. What I want is for the two photographs to come down from the left hand side at the same point but one after each other and then when they get to about that point then they will fly over to the right and stop okay and then the same will happen with the labels the labels will come up from the right hand side here stop and then fly into position above the photographs okay so there uh, this is a job for motion paths and let's have a look now before we do this one of the problems with uh, motion paths is getting uh, your objects to finish in just the right position and what can help us with that uh, are guides so i'll switch on the guides now first of all i can see that these pictures aren't quite uh, in the center now i could move the guides hover over the guide and move it into a particular position or of course i could select all of these and move those to the guides now let's just move those in there like that so top left hand corner of sarah's photo is right at the center point top right hand corner of jenny right in the center point there and the same with uh, the two labels now if i was going to do this with a lot of objects i could put on multiple guides and just drag that guide to the side with the uh, control key pressed and i get uh, another guide okay so i can use those guides to carefully position the objects let's just drag that off so i think i'm going to be happy with uh, the horizontal vertical guide there now let's have a look at the animations themselves okay so simple animation there on a click uh, jenny picture on the left there comes in immediately uh, sarah comes on and the two labels as well so they're all fly in effects pictures from the top labels from the bottom now uh, what I need to do first of all is uh, let's move those pictures over to the left and that should be enough and I'm going to align those uh, left as well there you go I'm going to do the same with the two labels okay so I'm going to move those over to the right and I will align those to the left let's move them a little bit further that should be it okay so all of those things are going to come on at exactly the same time just the pictures will fly down to this point and the labels will come up to this point now jenny is the picture behind there i'm going to select jenny's animation at that point what i need to do is add an extra animation so once the fly in effect has happened i want it to move over to the right hand side I head back to the animations tab now I'm not going to change the animation here I want to add an additional animation so add animation and then down at the bottom motion paths now we've got a range of pre-built motion paths there so a line an arc a turn um, loops and we can even draw our own custom path and there are more motion paths available or preset motion paths uh, on the more motion paths option there now I just want a simple line I click it and there is the line and you can see a sort of shadow image of Jenny there now I don't want it to go down I want it to go to the right so for a line I have the options there of making it go to the right okay and you can see the green point marks the starting point of Jenny's photo okay and the red dot there is the ending point so I'm going to Hold the shift key so I get a perfect line. Let's click it first. That's it. Hold the shift key, drag it, and this is where Jenny's going to end up using the guides. I should hopefully get that right in position. Okay, and I can now move that up to the top there. So once Jenny's flown in, um, it will slide to the right. 
Now I want that happen with the previous, not at the same time, obviously. So I'm going to put in a delay there so that, that will wait until Jenny has flown in. OK, let's do the same with Jenny's text. So Jenny's text there, we add an animation. It's going to be a line, but this time the option will be to the left. OK, and again, Jenny's text needs to be right over on the left hand side. So I will drag that, hold it on the shift key so I get a perfect line. That should do it. OK, and there you go. So two motion paths. I still need to drag Jenny's text up to there. That's it. Jenny's text there and with the previous. And I will again put in a delay. Now let's repeat that for Sarah. So Sarah, add animation, a motion path. Sarah's going to go to the right. Oops, uh, that's the one there. I'll hold down shift as I drag her. And see if I can get that lined up perfectly. We'll drag her into place. Second animation with the previous. And I will delay it till after the fly-in. And the final thing is Sarah's text box there. Let's get that to go to the left with a motion path. Left. That's the one, and Sarah this time just has to go a little bit there. That should just about be it. Okay, so our final thing there is we move, uh, well, we change that to with the previous, and we'll just delay it until after the text box has arrived. Now, hopefully, all on a click at the top, let's give it a go. So one click, and that's it. Now, I think I could probably do a little bit better than that by delaying um, the two sets of animations there. And of course, I haven't quite got the alignment uh, right there. So that just needs a little bit of tweaking. But there you go. Mo using a motion path, I can get the object to move on the slide. Now, let's try that with... A second slide. Uh, this time I just want to get this little ball, the circle, to go around in a much bigger circle, an orbit if you like. Okay, so I'm going to select it and add a motion path. Uh, and this time I'm going to go for shapes there. So shapes. And there is the shape. Okay, now it just it's going to go in a sort of a very small orbit at the moment. Before I change that, let's go to effect options. And uh, I can set that shape to be a diamond, a triangle, a hexagon, a range of other shapes there. Okay, so I'm going to stick with the circle. I can also edit the points. Now, I can drag that uh, bound and box out as well. But I, this time, I'm going to choose uh, edit points. Okay, and I can actually drag the points of that circle down. So that should allow for the size of the circle. That should be far enough down. So quite an odd shape there. And let's drag that over to the right to about there and the other side like that. So this allows me to change the geometry of the circle. And then using these little handles, I can tweak that. That's about it. And let's drag him down. And you can see how I can change the geometry of the circle like that. Same on this side. And let's do one more at the bottom. Now, I'd normally take a little bit more care over this. Okay, so much more of an ellipse this time, of course. And let's see how that looks. On a click. And around it goes. Okay, and at that point, it's simply a case of let's duplicate that shape. Um, are you going to duplicate? Let's give it a go. And... That's better. I'm going to position the shape right on top of itself there. This time is going to be with the previous and a little bit of a delay. Okay, so uh, let's repeat that. Let's duplicate. And with a little bit of a delay. And move it up. And we'll do one more. Duplicate the shape. Bit of a delay. And why not? Bit of a delay and 
last one a little bit of a delay okay so on a click the first one will go and the other five circles will follow after a short delay let's uh, give it a click and see how we look and not too bad so quite effective animation uh, in a very short space of time simply by using motion paths okay so i hope you found that useful look forward to seeing you on the next video tutorial